everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is nothing really special. I'm just working at home, pero medyo maluwag yung schedule ko. Also, excuse na lang sa mga outside noise. But today we're just going to try the. Okay, so this is from Starbucks, and I ordered. So here I ordered the famous pumpkin spice latte. So I didn't include the whipped cream. It's just the latte. Let's try it. And I also got some pecan bar. Double fudge chocolate. Double fudge pecan bar. This is my favorite. Um, here. Okay. Because, to be honest, I'm not a fan of um, pumpkin. I don't eat pumpkin. I'd rather order or cook an egg instead of eating pumpkin. Kasi parang masyadong sweet yung pumpkin for me. And for me, hindi pang ulam yung mga sweet food. It should be dessert. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm really not a fan of pumpkin. I don't like eating it. And madami ako nakitang sa YouTube na um, how to make DIY um, pumpkin spice latte. And they always included pumpkin puree. And nung nakikita ko yung mga videos na yun, sabi ko talaga, I will never buy that. Parang, bakit sila bumibili niyan? Bakit may kalabasa yung kape nila? But I really got curious this time. Kasi, um, yeah, you'll wonder, bakit ang daming tao may gusto? Especially from sa ibang bansa. Ang daming nag-hype na influencers, celebrities. You always hear about pumpkin spice latte sa mga American um, movies or dramas in fall. Kasi seasonal beverage siya. So, okay. Tukma ko na. Um, I bought it through delivery. Um, food Panda. I think this is... 195 yung base price niya plus 30 pesos kasi in upsize ko siya ng 20 size. So, total of 220 pesos for a venti pumpkin spice latte. Gosh, feeling ko hindi ko talaga siya magugustuhan. Pero sabi nila wala naman daw pumpkin puree yung recipe ng Starbucks. So, I'm hoping. Let's try. Cheers. Una, amoy muna. It smells like coffee, pero may something. Mmm! Lasa naman yung pagkakape niya. Parang espresso pa rin yung malalasahan mo pero may something na parang cinnamon mm. yeah malalasahan nyo talaga yung cinnamon and of course yung milk and then there's something else kasi siguro if you're a typical person or simple-minded person, pagka narinig mo yung pumpkin spice latte, tapos pag nakita mo tinataktak nila yung pumpkin spice, you would think that it's spicy or it has a kick, pero wala. Wala naman. Wala ang ganun. Walang weird taste. It is sweet. And I like sweet coffee. Um... Sabi nalalasahan ko. Tastes like there's a syrup eh. Yung nga ata yung pumpkin spice syrup. Basta may ganon. And it tastes a little artificial. But is it something that I would drink every day? No. Is it something I would drink if I'm craving for coffee? No. Because I'd still go for iced caramel macchiato. But it's not bad. It's interesting. And I was really craving for coffee. So, antok na antok ako today. Makikita nyo dami ko agad na inom. Ang sulit talaga nito. Parang sa store, 95 pesos lang siya. Pero pag delivery, 115 pesos. Kasi ang kapal niya. Mmm! Mmm! 
Mm. Hey man, I got my period today, kaya nagtrip talaga ako ng something from Starbucks. Just so you know, I'm not the type of person na nagtitry ng lahat ng bago from the Starbucks menu. Pagka lang, pagka interesting yung um, yung pangalan or yung recipe, like it has caramel and I love caramel. Pero pagka strawberry cream and I don't like strawberry that much. So, hindi naman ako masyado nagkitry. Pero this time, I just really want to end my curiosity. Like, how does it taste? Because why do people like it? They released two other drinks together with this. Um, they have the Frappuccino and Cold Brew Cream. How about you guys? What are your favorite drinks from Starbucks? So comment down below. And I won't make this video any longer now because I just wanted to share how does it taste. So again, it does not taste weird. It is sweet and I like it. It still tastes like coffee, pero merong cinnamon hint in other stuff na hindi ko na explain And if you don't like cinnamon, I think it's not good for you. Kasi malalasahan mo talaga siya. So, that's it. And happy drinking. Bye!